this is a mountain that goes up to that clearing. And there's a animal trails. And this is where the coyotes brought the soccer ball out of the other field. I have pictures of it. It looks like it's missing. It's, oh no, there it is. It moved again though. That's Mika's soccer ball that was in the other field, the other side of the creek. I think the coyotes took it and brought it back here into this forest to play. Whoops. And um, there's animal trails here, and they could have been from the cows. We used to have cows here before we got the land. And this is the bottom of a giant seasonal creek at the back of the property, which I'll eventually get filmed. Um, and this is kind of the residual of it. And um, kind of gross. This is all needing to be bucked up so you can walk standing up. <laughs> my hair and um, there's a trail that goes up between I want to clear all that out so today I'm not gonna go up this side today we're gonna go behind the pond so I'm gonna go back down and around where this comes through so here we go up here is the pond and kind of give you an idea where we just came from. Again, a lot of work needs to be done. And these were mowed down and grow back quick. Okay, this was overgrown. And before we even owned it, we came in and cleared this all down and around. big pond frogs no Mika I can't wait to clean this up it's going to be very lovely to spend time in. And you can see, so that's the side of the mountain, the creek between. And we're gonna walk on this side. Just incredibly overgrown. Interesting how this cleared out so much on this side now that the leaves have falling all over. You can see the leaves. There's a lovely willow back there. This all needs cleared out. So this is the other side of the pond. It's a pretty little moss she found. And this is like a dry area where the forest begins. And our property line goes to that side. And then this goes straight up and straight back. 
and after it kind of gets to a point this dry patch ends and it turns into a completely different looking forest Ooh, mushrooms. Let's see. So we cleared out through here at some point to kind of walk. Um, I can't see where we cut the branches exactly. Hmm. This is quite a thick forest. Here we go. A little clearing there. Interesting that you can't see the forest for the trees. So it's pretty steep. A lot of mushrooms. I'm hoping with these oaks we have could be morels at some point. I hear something. You can see where those trees are on that hill. It's pretty steep. You can see it just gets more vast as I keep going. change here. Get some oaks on this. Oh, so there's this giant rock that's just beautiful. And I have a pictures have been taking these little flowers. There's all kind of mushrooms. Look at this. It's like Wow, look at Stop. Back up. There's like that sweet little guy right in the middle. And look at this forest. So I don't know if you can see, there's our one side of the property line. That's the same side that the pond shares. And it goes all the way back to a giant oak tree in this corner, way back there, which I can't see from here. I'm not going up that high. Um, then it turns, and you can see the fence line, and it kind of angles. Oh, and found this little mushroom here. The snails was on him, and then a different one down here. Don't eat anything, Mika. And there's one. Weird little mushrooms. 
And look at this ground cover. She smells stuff. So, I'm trying to be careful what I see here. And there's another rock. These are hackberry, I believe. It's a broken tree there. Pines, oaks, red buds, and maples. That's what I see back here. Hmm. There's that rock. So the property line continues this way. I don't want to go too far because I got lost once. Anyway, <laughs> it's vast and foresty. And we want to build a cabin up here. You can see how very different it is from the one next to the pond. That gets very steep right here. Mika, over here, come. Alright, I just climbed, so that's over there, and I know this is my top of the mountain, clearing, and a very steep go down. Look at that. Oh, just beautiful. I mean, oh, hi buddy. This shale that the trees grow in, it just de decomposes. Look at this. I believe that's a like a black locust tree growing there. See the maple leaves. How cool. Sure goes down. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Come on, Mika. Every time I tell her to go, I find a new little something. Okay, go. So, I took pictures, and now I'm going to try to find them again and get them on video. The mushrooms here. And as I came up here, I saw, oh yeah, that little snake plant thing. See, that thing is really cool. There's a mossy there. Oh, there it is. Look. It's like Alice in Wonderland. There was two. <laughs> Whatever ate that's not happy, eh? I don't know. There might be more. Look at those are interesting. Okay. We're going. We're going. Traversing down. So there's an animal trail this way to make it easier. Mushrooms. Mm. Oops. Okay. I see the pond. 
Can't wait to clean this up. I'll make a clear trail. More work. Oh, here's some lichen. Hi, buddy. Mika, don't eat anything. Come. Come on. Mm -hmm, yeah. Smells good. It's going to be so nice when I can clear this. All these vines just took over, killing the trees. So that's just that big, deep ditch that comes down from way up. It has an eight foot drop at some point. And you can see the side of that mountain. See the top of the mountain up there. And it goes down and around. And my truck is right out there. Yep. I hope this made some sense. Ta-da! And then that.